Good morning, Floss Tube. Welcome to Crafty Cottage Stitches. Um, I am Heather. I'm Jeanette. And this is our Floss Tube number six, I believe. Um, and today is December, Saturday, December 12th. So welcome. Welcome to welcome. our channel. Um, I do, I do, yeah, I do want to say though, normally we're in the same room together, but we can't be right now. No. She li literally lives two minutes from me, yeah. <laughs> but so hopefully soon um, we'll be able to be in the same room again, but right now this is what it is, so. Yep, but for now we're going to zoom it. Um, this is a channel about our cross stitching and our crafts and our sewing and our quilting. And right now it's a lot about um, our shopping. <laughs> <laughs> our haul. <laughs> our haul. We have a huge haul today. So stick around for that if you're interested. Um, In our defense though, some of it we ordered long time ago and it yes. took a little longer. N not too much, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ordered all mine on the same day, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had some stuff started, kind of and We're going to do our. Um, I think we each have one FFO. I have two. Oh, okay, why don't you start then? Okay, well, my first one is, um, I had said last week that I needed to get the border around this one. Can you, is that better? Yeah. Um, so I stitched the top one. Um, I love it. And I had ordered the frame, so I wanted to really get it done. And here it is. It's beautiful and I'm excited to get it out next year, <laughs> but it's all done. So I ended up, I had to put this border around. I ended up putting an extra round and I thought, oh, I'll just sit down and I'll be done in an hour. This took me all Sunday to do this. So, and then yesterday I got it um, laced on to foam core. I just put brown paper on the back because it's bigger than a standard piece of scrap of paper by like half an inch, so. So that is done. And you ran out of that floss color. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like so I stitches. literally got one inch from the end and ran out of 3371 because I had used two skeins, I think, in my last Prairie Schooler. And yeah, that was really annoying. So I had to wait till Monday morning to go um, get some more of it. It's all done and it, I love it. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, yeah, so that is done. My other one is kind of quasi finished. Um, I found this frame at, I didn't want this just sitting thrown over my quilt rack where I put all my finished stuff. And I found this little frame at um, Hobby Lobby. It's actually metal on the back. So it would be good if you like to switch things out. It's kind of an odd shape though. So it fit perfectly. It's a little tight in there because I thought I would be able to put, um, ball fringe. I'm looking for some, it's just kind of sat in there with tape so it doesn't fall out, but it's cute for this year. I'll be, I'll keep looking for some kind of trim to go around and it's a Hobby Lobby. It's actually metal. So, and that is, can you see the tag on there? I'll hold it a little closer. So it was super cheap, 50% off. Um, you can stand it up, which is probably what I'm going to do. So that, do you have that my, pattern to show? No, you have it. Oh yeah. It's um Merry Christmas, my dear, I believe by Little All House right. Networks. Little House so, Networks, yes. Yeah. Super cute. Um, I probably will stitch it again like on a not polka dotted background because I don't know. It's really cute, but I don't love the background on it. So yeah. Learning as I go. And then okay. my finish. Is this guy right here. I love how you finished it. Me too. It turned out really cute. Very cute. This is actually one of my patterns in my Etsy shop at White House Stitchery. Um, it's called I'll Be Home. And this fabric background right here is a really old uh, Bonnie and Camille fabric. It's one of those that I have. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can get this pattern like a lot of people have done this pattern since then. I, think. I well, I think she it's does it. In, yeah, I think it's in her line. She does it maybe more than just that line. She had it. Okay. That print. So I thought it was perfect for that. Um, I did actually, this is my first time I did lacing on this because I wanted to be able to 
get it on there nice and straight. Um, and if I wanted to redo it eventually, it would be nice to kind of have it laced. And I just made up my own little bow with some of my picks, glued that on there. And it turned out really cute, I think. And I had a little jingle bell. Very um, cute. Something I just bought, I don't remember. And on this, I played around with, I don't know if you can tell, this is glittery, this roof. The pattern just calls for 3865, but I did a combination of 38, DMC 3865 and a glittery um, thread. Can't really tell at all. And you can't I think really you can, pictures I can tell a little bit. Okay. It doesn't look great up close because it was my first time using a metallic floss. It kind of shredded in spots. But I was reading the other day, somebody was playing around with metallics and they used beeswax on it to condition it. Have you heard of that? So it doesn't shred when you're pulling it through the fabric. So if anybody has experience with that, let us know if you would recommend that. And I might order some beeswax because I do want to play around with some metallics. And that was specifically for that etoile that you have for me. I've heard it's kind of a nightmare to use, but it looks like a wool thread. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, it's kind of fluffy. So right. and I have to you don't have to order it. Oh, you have these? I, I think um, that's it's thread, that. so I mean same thing. You, you I'm not sure how that would dole it though. So you I mean test right. these to see. So um, this one, like it's quite almost like plasticky. I don't even know how to so I don't know if it would dole it. So let us sure. know. Let us know if you've used that before and what you recommend and if it told the glitter on that at all. Because now that I look at this, like it doesn't really look glittery. And for how much of a pain in the butt it was, <laughs> I want it to be a lot more glittery than it is. But it's cute. I mean, I love how it's it turned out. It's very cute. I just very wish it was a little bit more shimmery because I thought it'd be cute to have shimmery snow. I did it up here and up here, but let us know. And if you like that, go ahead and check out my Etsy shop. And that is all I have for FFOs. Do you have whips? I do. <laughs> I only have one because I keep trying to tell myself, well, it's only been a week. So, cause normally I have so much more that I've worked on, but right. we were here last week. So, yeah, I know. And then once I was getting stuff together, I'm like, oh, it really wasn't that bad, but then I look at what other people are doing and I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I know. I'm like, how? We'll talk about that later. <laughs> I had realized I didn't show this last time that I had finished the um, entire first row of my Holly Jolly Nine patch. It's yeah. beautiful. It's so cute. And I've decided I'm going to start releasing patterns in my shop before they're completely stitched because I just can't really keep up with stitching all of them and then getting them out to you guys in time. Like if you want to buy them and stitch them at the same time, like in the same season. And for this one, I was having a hard time because, okay, sorry if there's a weird cut, we're going to have to edit something, but I just wanted to show this to you guys because um, I didn't show you the completed version of it last week. This is the row one of my Holly Jolly nine patch. I had shown you these two, but not this one. And I wanted to show this to you because one of our favorite floss tubers is working on this right now. Um, and she is stitching with the waves. Jen her name's Jennifer. And she is actually going to be finishing these instead of in one piece. She's going to do them individually on, I believe, 36 or 40 count because she has a really cool, um, quite, it's big, a wooden printer Here. tray that sits behind her in her videos that she's going to put them in. So I thought that was really cool. And we just wanted to thank her because she gave us a really nice shout out. Um, and we talk a lot on Instagram, but if you guys haven't checked her out, you need to check her out because she does um, all kinds of different patterns. So she does a lot of like the European patterns. She finds a lot of European blogs. I was watching her this morning and noticed she, she will talk about a lot of European blogs that she follows with really pretty ideas. And she also finds a lot of really beautiful free charts and she does quilting. Check her out. And teeny, 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 yes, tiny stitching. I was stitching. gonna say that. Teeny, <laughs> tiny stitching um, for 
like dollhouse, right? So like tapestry. Yeah, I think it's, it's doing dollhouse. a dollhouse. That's really cool. Like, <laughs> like unbelievable. And she just showed, I would need fires. Did you see her last video where she showed the teeny tiny spools? Yeah. With the blue. I guess on. I watched it yesterday. Yeah. So and it's so cute. So cute. Yeah. So, so. check her out for sure. Um, yes. We really She's like amazing. Her. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, whips. She's quite the enabler. Yes. And we enable her, I think. And then it's just like, I know. Domino <laughs> effect. <laughs> we love, love like the French um French designers. They're just oh beautiful. They're beautiful. So. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I made all these goals last week and I didn't meet them. But that's life. <laughs> I was gonna that's finish life with the doctor. Huh? That's life with the toddler. Yes. <laughs> you. So I work, I did work on this and I don't have much to go on this. Hopefully I can get it done today, probably. But I said that last time. So who knows? Um, this is hands on Whatever. Christmas Eve. Well, and my husband's off next Thursday and Friday. So I feel like we'll have a more relaxed. You should go have fun and do stuff and not stitch because. That's fun yeah. for me though. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so I got really all of the church done besides up between this window here. Are you using the called for? No. Oh, kind of looks like it. It's really beautiful. It's blue. Oh, I guess it is. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I, maybe I'm so used to seeing yours and I don't have my glasses on. So I love it. I haven't decided Beautiful. what color I'm going to do in the details on the windows. I'll probably just do like uh, maybe 645, like a dark gray. Because I don't love the the stark black that they've used on it. And I am going to do glitter on here, glittery. And I have been fighting the urge to start that. I think I'm going to do that very last because I'm excited to see how that turns out. But so I just have the trees left and... Uh, the back stitching and the the roof, so that in theory shouldn't take very long. So I'll probably that's what that. I thought about the trim around the harvest thing too. I thought, oh, an hour. No. I didn't think that. I thought that was going to take forever. <laughs> this this that's is fun. Much and that's not. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so it's that mine kind of though. What? It's kind of mindless, and I just watch TV because you don't really have to pay attention. Yeah. So that was nice, but. Yeah, it took forever. It took all day. <laughs> okay, and then the other one that I have as a whip is the Freebie by Brenda Brevet with the thread that everybody's working on. She's doing a stitch along. Sorry, that's terrible. There you go, right there. Everybody's seen it. So I've started this twice. I haven't started it yet. I think that's going to be a Christmas in July stitch for me. Yeah. You have other things I really want to get done. So this is where I'm at right now. I initially started this on natural raw, just regular natural raw, 32 count. And then my mom said that she had this, which is opal, the opalescent, which I think is really beautiful. But now I've decided I'm going to switch out all the colors, I think. Most so of a little colors. bit more vintage -y instead so a little of bit more vintage. -y. Yeah. And I'm switching out the fabric too. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to wait till she picks. Yeah. I'm That'll be cute. This. For it to be more me. Like it is fun stitching on this, but I think I'm just going to find something else to stitch on this. Everybody's doing it on this color, and this just isn't my Christmas style. Mm -mm. Maybe like for something in like my bedroom, I will do something on this. Um, but I'm gonna start it on this blue instead. So this is That's the second, more us. second border that I've done. The other one is completely finished, the border. But um, yeah. So yeah, that's that's all I have for whips. But uh, okay. that's just a freebie stitch along that with I needle and threads doing. Everybody's working on it right now, it seems. And they, they are like finished. I don't know. 
I know someone today had this the string of lights. Didn't that just get released this morning? Yeah, and those are like colonial knots. Yeah, well, those are easy peasy. So anyway, I only have one whip and it's this one um, right here. All hearts come home from Cimbarosa. Um, and I haven't had much stitching time at all. I'm going to be completely honest. And this one I need to work on during the day if I wanted to look even halfway decent. And so I think I just put the berries, some of the words, and I'm starting, I'm going to switch off between the house and the snow. Um, and that's all I've got. I should have this done next week, I would think. I just haven't had much stitching time this week. I kind of alternate between sewing and stitching. So that's what I have. Is that on 40 count? It's 40 count flax, one over two. Um, I love 40 count. I need to order more 40 count. I really enjoy working on 40 count. The stitches are so beautiful on there. Um, at least to my old eyes, they are. <laughs> so <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and I love this flax. It just feels amazing to work on. So I really enjoy it. Um, I just need to find more time to actually sit and stitch. So I think that's it with um, stitching. I just remembered that I fixed that platinum color. Oh yeah. Did we we'll show that next week? That again? I think so, a little bit darker. Okay. I had ordered platinum and um, we didn't love it. So Heather's been trying to re-dye that and get it to be more of a grazy color instead of khaki. Khaki. It's very khaki, like almost like a pinky. Like Pinkish khaki. Eddie Bauer khaki pants is basically the color of it. And neither one of us are khaki people. So I it's kind of like we decided wear. we were going to maybe wait until we knew what we were stitching on that before. Uh, yeah. I'm I sorry. I have a it's... weird glare on my glasses. I have no idea where that's coming from. That's all right. It's not bad. I did dye one piece of fabric, but it's just aqua. It's kind of what I did before. I just dyed a 40 count. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. To do the frosty ho 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 by the frosty ho, ho. yeah haven't stitched I that start. yet i know i want to start everything and when you see our haul it kind of reflects that <laughs> <laughs> so okay so thinking like i think maybe <laughs> i have to admit that the reason that i haven't been stitching as much maybe i am a little bit overwhelmed by what i have started Probably. I didn't think I was like that, but now I'm like, uh, maybe that's why I'm having. <laughs> I am totally like that. I'm like, ah, but that's okay. That's okay. So I do want to show something I have because I was gifted this wonderful box of, I don't know, Heather probably thought I was having a heart attack when I was going through the box. <laughs> I've had the box for a couple weeks. Um, a friend at my husband's work gave it to us or to me. And my husband had said, Oh, yeah, there's quilt blocks in there. It's really cool. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, and it's been out in the garage, and I hate being cold. And it's been freezing. So I haven't gone out there to look and I had to go out there for something and I just grabbed something off the top to kind of look. And oh my goodness. And this it is was, her, it, her grandmother's stuff, correct? This is her grandmother's stuff. Um, so basically she inherited it from her mom recently. And I swear to goodness, I, I couldn't even believe it. I've gotten last it's week. I showed the, <laughs> <laughs> last week I showed the block that I put um, some of the things I had gotten for from her. This is another box she had brought and I put a vintage piece of, oh, hold on, let me, let me grab Embroidery. it. Embroidery. Yeah. yeah, a piece of vintage embroidery in the middle of, of a block um, that she had given me. So this is the block I had made with it. And so this piece was from her grandmother. Well, this box, I almost had a heart attack, I swear to goodness. <laughs> it was filled with, um, it had three different quilt tops in it. One of them was embroidered little bunnies, which I totally forgot to grab. Hand pieced. Everything was hand pieced. There was a pile probably that thick of different quilt blocks, grandmother's flower garden, this star with a hexi in the middle. I'm not sure the real name on that one. Um, nine patches, uh, this other block with like a snowball in the middle, all hand pieced. I'm like, 
on the phone with Heather going, oh my God, oh my gosh. So, She's like sending me pictures on Instagram while she's freaking out. <laughs> I was freaking out. So the one quilt had, and I'll show that maybe next week, but like little pink polka dotted fabric surrounding bunny blocks, all hand stitched. And this was like the second thing I grabbed. It was a pile of these little kitty embroideries and there's um 12 of them so there's two of each one there's three little boys and then there's like three little girls so I told Heather she could have half of them and so I want to do something and they're identical two boys two you know uh, two sets of them so I'm going to find a block I this one I think is a little too busy for these because I really want these guys to be the right the the star of the show so I need to and I have a huge collection of 30s fabrics and I think that's what these guys are gonna I do too go with but they're just precious and I am so thankful that I was gifted that box I mean I, and I'll show everybody as we kind of go along and I decide what to do with all these wonderful I'm not sure I have no idea what I'm going to do with everything one of the quilts is twin size and it's old shirtings, but it looks like bleached out beautiful 4th of July colors. It's, I mean, I was like taken aback. I couldn't believe it. So I'm excited and I'll show everybody as I go through it. And and there's like yards of fabric too, like old. Yards and yards of fabric. There's fabric. kind of, I think the flannel, because I mean the pile, they're, they're like this thick. There's probably five plus yards. So we can make chiclet, some kind of lounge pants and stuff. Um, yeah. They're juvenile prints. Um, I would say those are probably maybe from the 80s, but these are old. Yeah. Everything's East. Um, yeah. So I'm excited. So that was kind of, it's not a haul. Um, I actually had it for a week, and, <laughs> but it was gifted to me. And thank you. Thank you, Angie, for given them to me I does she watch us she's gonna watch because she wants to see this stuff so <laughs> i'm excited hopefully so she's you not like start... i want it back <laughs> no i i in fact i called my husband i'm like you need to this is all hand piece you have to make sure she wants me to have this and she's like i wouldn't do anything with it i would just keep it on the box so yeah so i'm very lucky anywho so what did you, you do some start... sewing this week i did but oh, okay. let's do haul Okay. Yeah, let's do, because I have a craft I did too last night. We want to do sure. hostage haul separate from fabric haul? The, no, it doesn't matter. Just go okay. for it. You do your haul, I'll do my haul. Okay, so, sorry, I didn't take these out of the bags, but I got from South Pass Beads. So I did a lot of shopping on small what is that small business Saturday? Um, I went on Etsy for two of these and um, an, a fat, a small fabric company for another one. But this is from South Pass Beads. They were having a sale on their Weeks Dye Works. They mostly have beading supplies, but they had like a decent selection of Weeks Dye Works, and I needed a color, um, and that ended up being me ordering enough for free shipping. <laughs> Because so remember, I, we're <laughs> what was that? We're cheap. We don't like to pay shipping if you know. Yeah. You can get right. Well, and these were on sale for two dollars a piece, and um, I don't. I mean, I actually have a pretty decent collect collection of over dyes now, but I wanted to build my collection a little bit more, so I just went through and I just picked out some ones that I really thought were pretty. Because I don't really, like I always change colors anyway. So I figured I would see what I liked on there. So I got a few browns, some beautiful blues. Um, and I just wanna show this one. Well, and you do change your colors a lot. So you need- I might as well have what I like versus yeah. what everything's called for. This pink is so beautiful. Sophia's pink. Like look at the variegation in that. It's showing up a little bit more bubble gum than it actually is. It's like a ballet pink. That's kind of 
more the color. And then this one's really pretty too. I love the variegation on I weeks. Agree. It's beautiful. And so that's why I ended up, because I didn't have a lot of weeks. I had mostly classic color works and you're right. The weeks color or the weeks dye their variegations a lot better in my opinion. Um, I think it depends on what you're working on though. Cause sometimes you only want true. it slight. So yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. But I'm new, They're all I'm new to the yeah. fancy floss game. So this is what I wanted and I, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Pretty. So now I have like a ridiculous amount of floss that I need to get control of get control of it's bad I do too I do too and DMC I really like I have a whole baggie like a baggie like this big of DMCs now that I need to bobbinate and get organized and about another like bundle about this size of fancy floss too That's and then I'll quick put it in do. that cool um I'll get it all organized in those cool drawers that I have that you wanted to see for me and oh. then I'll throw that off in a couple of weeks that organization so that's from South Pass Beads, so check them out on Etsy if you need some beading stuff or some fancy floss. And then the next one is from, I ordered some fabric from Stitch Supply Co. I follow them on Etsy, or no, Etsy, heard. sorry, on Instagram. And they were doing um, a sale on Small Business Saturday, where they were throwing in a free um, mini charm pack with their order. So I'm like, well, if they're doing that, I have to order from them. <laughs> I can't go without getting like a free $5 or whatever these are. <laughs> it's a sick man. Huh? It's a sickness. Yes. So I have it too. Freebie I got from them, which is amazing. It's Bonnie and Camille Early Bird, and it's beautiful. That'll be cute bags. Yes. And I ordered, they had canning day, which is why I actually ended up doing it. Cause I thought, Ooh, they have canning day on their picture for the freebies. And then I just ended up ordering this because I didn't want to risk not getting it. Super cute. And that's by Corey Yoder. And then I ordered another Bonnie and Camille. This is shine on. I have no like plans for any of this stuff either. So but this is beautiful. Well, I'll take the canning day then because I have plans for that. <laughs> I actually, I think I have that one. This I one, that's I not true. I might have some plans for this. This is just a cute. Is that sweet water? It might be. I'm not sure. Kind of looks like airtight. Should be on the salvage. Or did you get the other? Oh, right. Yep. Uh, yep. Sweet water. The Christmas looks card. very much because I really like text um, and this isn't like super vintagey necessarily, but I thought it would be cute on the background for something. I don't know. I think it I could know. be. It's Erica really Arndt uses a lot of their fabric and her stuff always turns out being kind of vintagey vibes. So That's true. Yeah, it's just really pretty. I, love it. I really like it. So I got that. And I got um, this is also Bonnie and Camille little snippets. I got a lot of this yeah, because it's uh, oh like my god measuring tape, and this is my favorite color. And so this I thought would be beautiful for backgrounds on stuff. But then I even thought I wouldn't mind using this. Um, on those adornant ornaments we want to do with the snowmen. Oh I yeah. This would be really cute in the background, possibly. Um, it's adorable. I love that one. Love it. I've never seen that fabric before. I know. And I'm like, I just have to have that. <laughs> and then I ordered, um, this is also shine on. So this is, I like really low volume stuff. This is just little tiny rainbows. And I'm actually getting this in white on white too. That should be coming in the mail soon. Um, because when I order fabric, I always order uh, white on white to build up my collection because that's what I like to use. Kind of our favorite. 
I mean, really, everybody knows that probably. So why don't you do your haul? I just dropped all my patterns. Oh, okay. So, um, I will show, I ordered from acorns and threads. We're both going to do the sampler of the month from country cottage, country cottage needleworks. My goodness. And this is January. I would love to say that it's going to be done by January, but it's probably going to be done in January. And we got, I ordered us both, um, the floss to go with that. I ordered from, and that's from Acorns and Threads. And I'm actually going to be on the monthly mailing for those. So it'll just be easier that way. And so from Hollis Hands Creates, I ordered, I had to order two more skeins of collards for my Christmas at Hollyberry Farm. Um, so because, you know, how we are, we just order more instead of paying shipping. <laughs> I ordered because, and I've wanted this for a long time. It's Lantern Lane by Little House. Um, or got that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this house in red. Just going to say. It's probably going to be in white. I've decided I want a sampler wall that has a lot of white and blue houses on it. Because my very first house that we bought was like a kind of a gray blue. And I live in a white house now. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to reflect that when I do these but anyway so that's that and also from there besides my skeins of floss I ordered this one because I have looked at this for years and I've always wanted to do that church for Christmas time and Silent Night is my favorite Christmas song after getting it though I can see my older daughter loving this one right here she loves um Snowman and Santa, so maybe one day. What's that pattern called? Um, Christmas in the Village. Sorry, <laughs> Christmas in the Village. It's a Stony Creek. Um, yeah, I love it. I've always loved this church. I've looked at this probably, and she had it, so I'm like, I'm going to finally get it, and if I don't start it now, I'll never finish it, so this will be my Sunday stitch all next year, because usually on Sundays, that's football day. I don't watch football, but my husband does all day so this will be um that'll be my Sunday stitch because I really want it out for Christmas I think it's beautiful it is beautiful so that's that that was from Hollis Hands Creates and I think I don't think I got another I think that was it for her from her besides the thread I have one and, of the things that you ordered from her oh that's right I knew that wasn't quite enough I knew there was more and because I watched Lori Holt's floss tube and I didn't want to miss it. I actually saw she had these both done. So she had this one. This is from that quarter shop. I got on like immediately um, on, I think I ordered this on Black Friday. So I got um, Parson Brown, Not Forgotten Farms. Um, Can you hold that a little um, closer? Shanda from Stitching in Idaho. Once she showed hers, I knew I always wanted to do it. So I just went ahead and got it. I'm going to put a black hat on him. I've seen people do that on Instagram and he's just precious. This picture does not give this little guy justice. And Stacy Nash, probably my second favorite designer. I'm sure it is. I love her stuff. It's just beautiful. I love him. Uh, Lori had stitched her. Um, she had changed colors and made it a little bit more vintagey colors instead of prim and it's really really cute so i'm probably going to copy her because probably because she's perfect when you she chooses really color. like hers and because i keep forgetting this guy i add it to my i've actually had it for a while can you see it i added to my flamingo toes um it's so you funny to say that cracks me up every time <laughs> Now I have the white kitty and I keep forgetting to show her and she's just so precious, but so I got it's that. Like Eva. Yeah, that's kind of Lily, you know? Yeah. And so yeah. I found at Hobby Lobby, um, because I had to go get 3371 for my one inch stitching, this really cool frame and it's metal. So if you wanted to switch it out, but it's actually the absolute perfect size for Heather's 
nine patch um, patterns. So I'm gonna paint it white, it's way too pale for me. But it was only, it was $6. Here's the tag for that. It's metal, so if you have a square thing, this is, square frames are a lot harder to find to me, I think, so. Can we hold that tag a little bit closer? I don't think it focused. Yeah. There you go. So it's super cute. Um, I mean, it's cute as is, but this is the perfect size to put Heather's patterns in. So I'm excited about that. And moving on with more wow. haul. Um, <laughs> I ordered some backing for a quilt um, from Fat Quarter Shop and I ordered this. Oh my goodness. Um, it's actually backing fabric, so it's huge. It's what, I don't know. I'm not sure what the backing is. Is it 108? Might be 104, 108. So I got a yard of this and I'm gonna line, put it in bags. Um, I'm, I'm gonna make a kind of a pocket thing for my large, oh, rulers. Sorry, it's really hard to remember what I'm thinking about. Um, <laughs> my large rulers to hang on my cutting table back there because um, they don't fit in drawers or anything. And this is going to be, I'm going to make, put this as the backing. I think it'll be beautiful. What fabric is that? This is Lori Holt. Um, Granny Chic? Just like, no, I don't, maybe, it may be her backing for Granny Chic, um, but it's so, it's so cute. But even if you copy or, you know, trace some of these to do, would be fun because they're all vintage um, embroidery patterns. How cute is that? I love it. Love it all. So that is my fabric. I did get some backing for a quilt that I'm going to start after the new year um, because, you know, 20% off is a good time to buy backing. Is it free? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I got this pattern from Cory Yoder. Is it Coriander? Coriander quilts, Coriander. I've loved it ever since it came out. So I love the it's kind really of cute. the gingham look, but with a kick, I guess, with something, something, something to add to it. And I think I'm going to do this. I want to try to find like a red and white, kind of more like this one, like a red and blue floral. And That'd then a red pretty. for summertime. I think yeah. it'll be kind of a washed out look. I think it's beautiful. So that is my, that's it for haul for me. Maybe that new Bonnie and Camille that we like with the strawberries. Or, oh my gosh. Yep, that's it. That's what we'll that do. That would be really pretty. Yeah, I am excited for those fabrics to come out. I'm excited for, there's like 10 lines coming out that, oh, oh I want them all. So I won't get them. <laughs> But yeah, so. Okay, the rest of my haul is from the Farmer's Attic on Etsy. I needed um, 3865 because it's my go-to white. And it's they have it for like, their DMC is like 60 cents, which is really good if you're buying DMC anywhere, but like a big box store. Because a lot of times people are selling them for like $1.20, $1.50. And so. I ordered just a bunch of those and I needed free shipping. <laughs> so I had to order a few more things. <laughs> so I picked up a few patterns from her and I didn't want to get any more Christmas patterns. So it was really hard not to. So I picked out a few kind of springtime, I'd say. So I got this one from Hands on Design. It's called Present Blessings and it says uh, reflect upon your present blessings and I just think it's really beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one actually came with the teeny tiny buttons too, but they fell down somewhere. They're just tiny pink buttons. They're just tiny pink buttons. Where are they on there? These, these little guys are little tiny pink buttons. So it came with that. So that one I want to do up, I think, um, just to kind of have that in a frame on the dresser in our bedroom would be really pretty. And then I've always loved this one. This is uh, With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. A lot of people do this one. It's called Coffee First. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Plum Street Sampler, the Mrs. Bingley's. Oh yeah, library. that kind of look. 
holding something. Yes. And so yeah. my mom's getting that for Christmas. She already knows that. <laughs> and um, so I wanted this so one too because it reminds me of that. And we're coffee people in this house. So that's really. Well, you have a little coffee area that you can put that. I don't. So. Yeah. Because I could, it would be easy to put, but tea first, but I don't have anywhere to put that in. Yeah, my but then what kitchen. would you do for the coffee beans? Oh, that's true. Flowers. Beans, little flowers. I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anywhere to put it, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But I'm excited for that one. And I've thought about, my mom's going to make fun of me, but I thought about doing Thirsty Thursdays <laughs> and doing You're all stressing patterns me out, that have man. cups on them. <laughs> what? I said, you're stressing me out, man. Because <laughs> I have so many patterns with cups that I need to do. Do that, I then. The cup. I've got um, Mr. Marshall. I would never make fun of you. I know. But Thirsty I Thursday. I just may not join in. <laughs> that's like a drinking thing, I think. I don't know. Oh, is it? Maybe. Oh. I don't know. I'm not that kind of person <laughs> necessarily, but I thought okay. it'd be a cup. <laughs> Okay, and then the other one that I got is another with a needle and thread. It's called Spring Serenade. That's adorable. It's really cute. I don't have anything Easter. I do have one freebie Easter pattern that I've been holding on to for a few years um, that I'll show you guys once it's springtime. That's a, a bunny too, but I think it's really beautiful. It's got the it's little birdies beautiful. on it. We love birds. We're bird watcher people it's just pretty yeah it's it's gorgeous. gorgeous I got hair and then the last one I have is um the other thing that my mom ordered from Hollis and Hands Hollis Hands Hollis creates. Hand Creates Hollis Hand Creates great great great, great Etsy site wonderful service yes I Love order from them too a lot this is Let's Talk Winter I'm really excited for this I think I will do this on a blue background. I think I'm going to wait and see how you do it. <laughs> and then because she always picks really good colors. I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I, I've am i got to figure out. I have a very, very limited wall space. So I have I to see I'll where do I would this put guy that. first. That I would do. That's the one I think I would do. I love how she finished those. I do too. I love, I love how she finished these. And who was I watching the other day that also is obsessed with that? The mom and daughter. Hmm. I don't remember. Well, let me know because I want to see. Have they yeah. made I one? I commented on their video. Um, she ordered like the, the fabric pack somewhere. Oh. I'll leave that below. Uh, stitch. They're really big. Like. They have tons of followers. I don't remember. They do Ham like stuff? shout outs and huh? Ham and stuff. Yes. What's their yeah. what's their channel? Just name? keep stitching? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. She ordered the yeah. Yeah. So. She ordered the <laughs> the fabric pack. The kit. <laughs> um yeah, and I commented on there that I've been obsessed with how she finishes this. It's too. so cute. That Very I could do. That I could find a place for, for sure. But that, the wall thing, I am not sure. It would have to be done really small. Right. To where I could sit it on a shelf or something. Because I, there's a few things I have planned to stitch to actually hang on my walls. Um, so things like that, I have to be able to sit them on a shelf or in a bookcase or something. I just plain don't have the room for it so well and I love that finishing for other designs that we have and I, I know it has like the instructions on how to do that in here well it's somewhere a little yeah I'm sure I'm yeah. sure she does she might have a video if you need a tutorial I think she might you'll have to look in there because I yeah. think she does that on some of her patterns she links to a uh I don't know they might be kind of you have to buy the pattern to get to it, I think. Um, but so she may do that. She may kind of teach you how to do that on there. Yes. But so is that it with your haul? That is it. Yes. All right. So I have a craft I did. Um, I've been meaning to do it for a couple years. 
I actually finished it last night. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it was the biggest pain in the butt ever because <laughs> I don't have the I don't have the best quality vinyl, but I've been wanting to do this. I've had the, um, I dusted off the Cricut and I made a sign <laughs> for my kitchen to add to my gingerbread collection. So here it is. I have a Cricut. It's not used in nearly enough and I need to use it more. My granddaughter and my other daughter, they do a lot of Cricut stuff party things, gifts, and yeah. things of that nature. But I ordered the cutting file on Etsy. It was like $250. Um, I've had this blank. It's from Hobby Lobby for, I don't know, for years. Just sitting in there. And I'm like, you know what? I'm finally going to do this because I needed something to hang behind my stove. So my yeah, husband that's, asked my, me what that's my craft for this week. Very cute. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yeah. Macklin asked um, me what kind of cricket I had the other day. Mm, I know. So there's the, there's the, can you see the tag for that? No. Super easy. If you have a cricket, I'm sure you've, you know, I'm sure you've ordered, but it's really fun. No, it wasn't. I lied. It's not fun <laughs> because I, the, the transfer tape I used was a nightmare. The process should have been fun if I had better not been sitting in a drawer product from, I don't know, what, five years There's ago or something? There's a little bit of a learning curve there. Like, yeah, and in fact, I actually, every time I get my Cricut out, I call my BFF because she is amazing at everything Cricut. Um, and so every single time I do something, I have to call her because... Yeah. Me too. Just to walk me through the steps again. I know Heather does too. Text her like, oh, tell Help. me, do I have to mirror this? I can't <laughs> like wrap my head around that for some reason. Yeah, so I do, but that's fun. And now I have a new gingerbread item to add to my gingerbread kitchen. That's everything gingerbread. So do you have any sewing or? No. I do. Because I did, you know, say I had to have these done for. Um, la, 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 you met all your <laughs> And this is the reason I actually, I, my quilt is going to the quilter today. So that took way longer than I thought. I had to pick all the threads, make sure everything's ironed, had to put the back together. That took, you know, hours. You think it's only going to be like a hour long thing. I mean, that takes hours. So I finished my deer quilt. So cute. Oh. And I love it. It's going to be so sweet to get out. It's double this size. It's quite large. It's um, 63 by 72. So it's pretty good size. It'll actually lay over the end of the bed probably in the, the grandbaby's room. But this is the reason I use this pattern because I, you can see the fabric. And that's what this line's all about to me. So it's super cute. Quite Super cute. It reads quite pink. It's very pink. Yeah. Um, I took a lot of the darker red out because um, I bought the whole fat quarter bundle. And so I wanted it to be a little bit more pink for in here. Um, and then almost kind of regretted that when I was laying it all out. But now that I haven't been looking at it like nonstop, right. I like it again. It's very and I will be getting this out for Christmas every year. Yes. It's, it's super cute. So that's, um, yeah. That was another day of, I sewed and crafted. Not, I didn't do much stitching. Um, I kind of flip flop back and forth. We told you. Yeah. We're very ADD, so. Let me let the, the cats meow and let me let her in real quick. And now I'm tired, so I'll be stitching a lot more this, this week. But, And I also wanted to say, because I think we forget to say, if you have a floss tube, please let us know in the comments because the way my TV in here searches, um, because Chicklets watched Elmo, my next su <laughs> suggestions are <laughs> Elmo, Grover, you know, dance videos and stuff. So let us know, because I have a hard time finding, especially like new floss tubers. Yeah. My regulars come up, but then if so, if you have a floss tube, let us know so we can watch and subscribe and see what everybody's up to. Um, yeah. I think there's a lot of new ones, but I have a hard time finding them where I watch TV, so. 
Right. Same with me. Cause I watch, I watch YouTube or floss tube on our TV. And right. I so it, it doesn't say it. I mean, suggests Elmo and whatever no. else you've been. So when I turn it on, so. turn floss tube on, I have to like quickly go to my subscriptions. Otherwise Elmo pops up and she sees it. And she's like, <laughs> oh, Elmo, Elmo. <laughs> um, and then, oh, and I wanted to thank uh, Mama Loves GB, Michelle. She mentioned us in her video the other day because she had watched us and she saw that I started that pink and pumpkin um, freebie vintage Santa mug pattern. And she has a ton of it done on there, but she has a really cool finishing idea, idea on that. So check out her. So cool. Video. I'm excited to see that done when yeah. she finishes so that'll be that's really that cool. a really cool way so you should check out um one of her I think it was vlogmas nine or ten she described that um so go watch that and it's a really cool idea and she has way more done on that than I did she said she and saw I, me stitching on it and then all of a sudden she stitched on it and she's got like the whole I know <laughs> I mean, she's like, she works full time. It's like, I've got to, I've got to be, I got to stay busy because I'm not getting nearly, everybody's like, oh, I'm done. And it's like, didn't you start that yesterday? Kind I know. Of thing? <laughs> so, like all the, all the with thy needle and thread ones. I know it's amazing. So I don't know what I do all day. Apparently not a lot. So I've got to get moving on some of this stuff. So what's your goal? The problem is, is we, um, see what everybody else is working on then we want to do that too Started. so yeah yeah my problem this week was that my daughter's been pulling ornaments off the christmas tree and <laughs> making a huge mess and <laughs> <sighs> i'm i sewed i sewed and i crafted so and i dug through that box and you know normal stuff you have yeah. to do so but i my goal is to work on whatever I want this week. I have no goals. Okay. I have my fall thing done, which I wanted to get done. Um, uh, that's not it. I want No, to that's not true. I do want to start the other quilt because there was two Christmas quilts I wanted to get done this year. Not quilted necessarily. I mean, I don't like that part. So I'm going to have to talk myself into that, you but- will? Um, I have a snowman quilt I want to do. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, so I think I'll probably get that out and start cutting that. Um, there's a lot more to do that for sure. Um, I'm, a little, you know, I'm going to put this pattern away for a few years. I've made two now. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I'm going to put that away for a little bit, but I do love it. It's a go-to. It's Yellow Brick Road. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. I am terrible about that. She always has to remind me. Um, what I mean but I love. I love doing it. <laughs> That's true. Um, but the next quilt is going to be a lot of fun. It's an Irish chain and I'll show that next week. Probably won't be done. There's a lot to it, but um, it's going to be fun. I, and it's totally different than the vintage colors um, that we've been working on. And I, there is a, I do want to make a couple project bags too. Um, one is going to be a gift to someone that we really like a lot. So yeah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. But you um, see her? I do. <laughs> she's terrible. That's Ava. <laughs> I don't know how to let her in here, but she's being crazy. She's horrible. She's she's, really horrible. This cord? <laughs> <laughs> she's really horrible. She bites. She's rude. She, <laughs> she's my she baby. But she's the softest cat you've ever felt. <laughs> well, depending, because when you pet her, she usually bites you. But yeah, she's I'm used to it. She's terrible. She bites my husband so bad all the time. <laughs> she she just, like, bites me too. Animal. She'll come running up to you. Oh, pet me, pet me. And ugh, no. she bites my dad. <laughs> come here. She, she really uh, does. I'll be sitting in the living room and like Mac will be doing dishes or doing something in the kitchen. And I hear like a loud thump on the cabinet because she has like bit his ankle and he like jumps <laughs> and knees the cabinet. <laughs> she doesn't do that to me. Uh, and she's really old. She's just a nightmare. 14. So. Yeah, I've had her for 11. Ever. She's 13. I've had her for 11 years now. She's my baby. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, I guess my goal um, is to finish that church. Oh, and I want to work on my church too. I got to finish this one. I'm, I, I really need to finish this one. I love it. It's so dainty looking, isn't it? It's beautiful. 
really beautiful. So I would love to have that on my wall. Actually hanging on a shelf because that's I actually found something at Hobby Lobby too for that to finish. So that'll be, come here, that'll be, that'll be my goal. So, um, but we, it'll probably be shorter next week. I have to work, so who knows? We'll see. Um, we definitely won't be having this kind of haul every week. That's it. I have one more thing coming and. Um, yeah, I don't have any more haul coming. Um, unless somebody shows well, that's not true because I may have a PDF because I found a French designer today. So oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I need to stop buying Christmas stuff because I'm never going to get it stitched this year, but I'm okay with that. So, well, yeah, because we're planning on doing, um, you know, a rotation when the new year happens. Definitely. I'm just hoping I feel like, well, Hollyberry Farm I'll work on because I, it's Christmassy, but, you know, it's not. We have a ton of snowmen to do too. So. We do. I have like quite a bit of winter stuff that I'm going to get going. Um, oh, I remember what I was going to say and I'll say it in a second, but maybe our January 2nd video. Because remember, we're doing a weekly video until January 2nd. <laughs> um, we'll do like a our plans for our winter stitching and the new year probably. Like what we want to be doing for our rotation. But what I was going to say is I was watching our... Christmas, the video, the floss tube two and a half, where we talked about our Christmas plans. You should watch that again, mom, because it <laughs> all of the stuff that we said we were going to do. I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot we were going to do that. I will. I'll have to do that. But this was one of them. Um... Yes. Well, we have that pillow. The pillow is the one where I'm like, I really did want to do that. And there's embroidery on that. That's the only thing that's been slowing me down on that. I'll probably, you know what? I'll put that together. That's my goal. I want to do that pillow this week. So, because then I can, the other half of that is going to be a project bag. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. That's what's been stopping yeah. me is I'm doing that with scraps from the quilt that I've been working on. But I need to actually do that quilt in order to get the scraps for that. Get on that. I know. I know. <laughs> I will. So I I've actually finished a couple things because the Merry Christmas was also one of those and the project bag. So yeah, I actually dig through my box often so I can kind of, and that's what reminded me I needed to do the other quilt. I want to re, so. I want to do that, reorganize my box. So I get, everything's everywhere right now and I need to get it back. Well, in. and I'm not sure if the lid would close if I actually added all the new stuff I've bought. Yeah. Thank you everybody, by the way. For <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm going to throw it all in there. So I have it to kind of pick through throughout the year. That'll be my Christmas box all year long because yeah. that's why I got it. So we could have the different seasons. We'll just buy a box for that and work I from there. It's been easy. I want to add one more goal to this week, which is to finish that little girl out of the magic of Christmas cross stitch book by Veronique. I think I can handle doing her and finishing the church. I think so. She's cute. She's very cute. I don't I know how her. I'm going to finish that church though. Any ideas? I don't want to do it as much. I'll dig through my, I'll dig through my stuff and see maybe yeah. on a tag or something. I don't know. Something. We'll have to see. Or if anybody has Perfect. ideas, go ahead and leave a comment below um, for that. I like, I have, Lately, I just want to have like tiny dainty frames on everything. And I guess that's fine. Why not? <laughs> I know, but I just if don't know it. In your house. Huh? So yeah, if just, that's what you want in your house. I did order a tart tin. Yeah. Um, it came. Oh, with that kit. So it's a little tart tin oh, to put no. something in. So I'm going to pick something out of that book and do. Well, I mean, I had planned on the little. Yeah. yeah. So he'll look really cute in that. Um, I forgot to show that. It's just a yarn tree tart tin. And yeah. hopefully he'll fit in there. I could whip him up on that 40 count. Um, aqua, I just died. Two things will fit on there. So yeah. But anyway, I have to be off. I can hear my husband um, getting ready. We have to drive like an hour from here. To go get your to drop off. Yeah, and I'm really excited about that because I've never done that before. Um, 
I don't want to get in the habit of it because I do like to quilt my own quilts, but we'll see. Once in a while, it's kind of nice, the bigger ones for sure. And that's the one I'm having quilted is very utilitarian. It's going to be in the living room, used and abused. So I want it pretty heavily quilted and it'll be on my ottoman. And so it's cold. I'm always cold. Yeah. I don't like being cold. So I, I wanted a big quilt to go in there and be on yeah. my ottoman to cover with. I did just look how mention. sweet she is. She's not that sweet. It's just it's it's an illusion. <laughs> she only <laughs> <left her. laughs> I just she want to mention one more floss tuber. Uh, oh, yeah. Stitching is elementary. Carrie Lee. Carrie Lee. Carrie Lee. She just had an awesome video. She has awesome videos, anyways, but she just did an awesome video because she's a first grade teacher where she talked about her recommendations for books for kids. So if that's something that you're needing advice on. Um, my daughter loves books. So I thought that was a really cool video and I wanted to just give it her was an awesome that. video. I'm glad she, she did just, that. Like, briefly talks about what the books are about and shows a couple of pictures and stuff. So if you're looking for book ideas for Christmas or just for your kids, that's a good and one. And she showed a light. So I'm going to get that order. Yeah. I just, I haven't, I don't know. I feel like this week I haven't had time to do anything. So this and once you get better. online, it kind of sucks the time out of the day. <laughs> so yeah. um, even if I'm like on Amazon or back quarter shop, I, I'm you like, fall oh, into a hole. On there. You do. So I need to stop that and just get it ordered. She told me what to order. She loves hers. So um, yeah. So I think we're going to say goodbye and we'll see you next week. So um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. I'm at White House Stitchery and my mom's at Carly Court Cottage. And then my Etsy shop is White House Stitchery and follow us subscribe to us here and click the bell if you want notifications when we have new videos and we will have a new video next saturday yep so have a good week say bye bye have a good week bye bye, -bye. <laughs>